Hello everyone and welcome to another lecture in the topic of STEMI and today we are speaking about an important clinical topic regarding unresolving C elevation after STEMI. What we are going to learn today when to diagnose a patient as unresolving ST elevation and to understand the clinical significance of unresolving ST elevation. Regarding the unresolving ST elevation, when do we decide that the patient is having unresolving? What's the time interval? Although sometimes you can say persistent ST elevation in patient with completed STEMI, but when you have persistent unresolving ST elevation after more than 21 days of the onset of MI, in this case, this is suggestive of LV wall through aneurysm in the wall corresponding to the leads. In case of myocardial infarction, you can have an evidence of pathological cue and it can be present forever in the ECG. But persistent C elevation, you need to suspect this uncommon complication. But of course, you can see it in your clinical practice. So, for example, what will I see in this ECG? I can see here that the patient has a C elevation in V1 to V4. But when I ask him about the onset of MI and I know that it was more than one month ago, in this case, I would assume that this patient may have aneurysm in the wall corresponding to the LED territory. So I can expect apical LV aneurysm or aneurysm in the anterior wall. And what will I see in this ECG, for example, here? I can see also ST elevation from V1 to V4, but if I ask the patient, and I know that he is just been free now, has history of MI two months ago, I need to, ex I need to exclude true wall aneurysm also in the LED territory. For example, in this ECG, I can see here that there is ST elevation in the inferior leads. If I know that the onset of MI, for example, was more than one month ago and the patient just been free now. So also I expect here that the aneurysm is in the RCA or the LCX territory. So I can expect, for example, an aneurysm in the inferior wall or maybe in the lateral wall. So if I perform an echocardiography for this patient, what will I see? I would see that there is akinesia or even dyskinesia of certain segments in the territory of the affected ACG leads and this this kinetic segment is suggestive of true wall aneurysm so of course here this is an example of apical LV aneurysm as you can see here is the aneurysmal formation with in the apex and so I can expect that this patient has completed anterior STEMI complicated by formation of true aneurysm what we can see here in this image is that there is formation of mural thrombus, which is the most common complication caused by the aneurysm. And this mural thrombus, of course, increases risk of embolic complication like embolic stroke or acute lower limb ischemia. Moreover, the formation of aneurysm, of course, wastes the contractile power a lot of the left ventricle, causing severe LV systolic dysfunction, heart failure, and may increase the risk of free entrant ventricular tachycardia. That's why some doctors may refer these patients for surgical consultation regarding aneurysmectomy which is not common surgery to be done but sometimes me some patients may need it due to the risk of the aneurysm and the complications caused by it so the diagnosis of unresolving ST elevation is not solely by ECG it needs we need to know the time interval between ECG and MI because just by ECG I just see ST elevation and the patient would need primary PCI but when I know the time interval and I take meticulous history at the time I may suspect aneurysm formation and then the echocardiography can confirm or exclude the formation of LV aneurysm in the wall related to the affect ECG lead whether this is an apical aneurysm, anterior wall, inferior wall, lateral wall according to the ECG I can search for it but sometimes the echo may say no there is no aneurysm so the ECG and the time interval raise the suspicion. So at the end of this short lecture, we understood today when to say that the patient has unresolving ST elevation and what is its clinical significance and when to decide it because it is not just an ECG, it's history as well and then an echo to confirm or exclude. And our take home message, unresolving ST elevation is diagnosed after more than 21 days from the onset of STEMI and unresolving ST elevation is suspicious of formation of LV aneurysm and so echo is essential to confirm or exclude. Thank you very much for your watching.